this will be the final episode on the Ruby Center series. So, this project is pretty much done. It took, well, far longer than I thought it would. I really did not think that we should have spent the amount of time we did completing this. I think it should have been done quite a while ago. And I think my auto jump is on. Yes, it is. That drives me nuts. Because I recently reset all my settings and my sound is off. Hold on a second. Let's fix that while I talk here. But as you can see, the base is pretty much done here. Uh, there are a little bit of touch-ups. You can see that the other members have been doing that in cobblestone. I'm going to fix my sound by F3 plus T. That'll reload the resource packs and get everything going again. I need to clean up the torches below, and a lot of little bitty work needs to be done, and that's kind of why I'm ending the series, because I want to start moving on to other things. The guys and I have been talking about the wither farm and the villager area. So the villager area is built, functional, and producing, and now we're just waiting on the different builders to each finish their individual builds that they've done either together or with partners, and then we will be able to kind of finish that area for good. Afterwards, we'll be working on the wither perimeter, so we need to find the location for that, and then, of course, decide on a design as we're working on the perimeter. So it's going to be quite a process because... The best, to my knowledge, working design in 1.11 Plus is my personal design, and everything's good. And um, we'll, of course, do a ton of research, and we're talking about multi-dimensional stuff, and we'll figure out what is best for us soon enough. But for now, I'm thinking I'll load or make a schematic of this base, even though it seems like it's pretty much done. In fact, scratch that, I think I'm going to leave it alone, because as long as this is spawn-proof, uh, the witch farm should not be affected by it by, at all. Uh, you can see that there's actually a record sorter over here, but apparently Pineapple dis f didn't realize that this instant dropper line that he was talking about, I'm not even sure what that is, doesn't work properly, so I'm not even 100% if this works. Not really like we have records to sort anyway. I think he just seriously wanted something to put in this space and because I haven't really been around to say anything about it, he just kind of did it. And that's totally fine, but uh, what is this? Temporary spot for all non-stackable. Yeah, okay, so we've been talking about non-stackable item sorting and that'll be just be kind of its own episode. There's really nothing major left to do for this area, so I really want to kind of end it here. I'm going to be doing some little bitty stuff. So I've got some things to sort. Um, one thing we do need are firework rockets inside of the bulk storage. And as you can see, there's plenty of room here. And something I kind of want to think about out loud on camera is the guys mentioned in 1.12. Uh, I always refer to the Minerva members as the guys. But in 1.12, new colorful blocks will be added to the game. And I'm thinking, like, you can see on the end here for the colored section, we're kind of out of space. There is room in the other wing, but we're going to be out of room here pretty soon. And I think that like, when the time comes that there are enough items in the game to where this thing doesn't fill uh, with every, doesn't sort every item that there is, I think we should just start ruling out the extremely rare items. So like, we don't need enchanting tables or even like nether stars. We might want to just put into beacons, but we'll be getting those later, so that's maybe not the greatest example. Uh, there is a lot more space over here than I thought, but things that you'll never need. So like bowls. I think those kind of things should just be thrown in the chest. I mean, it just takes wooden planks to make them. Last time I checked, I've, I haven't needed a bowl since Xbox Minecraft, and I don't think I've ever crafted one on PC. Um, snowballs, you know, either just craft it into a snow block or get rid of it. We don't need it, don't want it. <clears throat> in fact, snowballs should be over there. Uh, and then I was just kind of thinking, like, beets and beetroot seeds. Like, even that makes sense. I mean, some of the flowers we don't necessarily need, so... I think we should just start ruling stuff out one by one in order of necessity slash priority. Uh, I am kind of checking over here right now just to make sure that, yep, I forgot snowballs. My bad. But, uh, yeah, so we have had more server issues. Uh, we're playing on the 6 gigabyte world right now, and the last debug test said that. So it's running okay, but really not as impressive as I was expecting. I'm going to need one of these, one of those, and now I clean up. Update. I talked to LaFlossie on Discord, and it turns out the optimal comparator length for each of the witch huts is nine comparators. 
but is this one supposed to not be running? That button doesn't do anything. Um, okay. It appears they're doing renovations on the redstone line. Fair enough. Does anybody remember from a past episode why there are chests here full of ink sacks? I'll give you a hint. It used water. It's actually quite impressive the work that Rubix did on this base. How he used he had to use things like matching color types for the carpets on top of these blocks because we told him this has to be spawn proof. And uh, it looks like he delivered. There is not a single block on this entire base, to my knowledge, that can spawn mobs. I mean, obviously it'd be pretty foolish of us to put some decorative design inside of this, underneath the sorting system, inside of a perimeter that'll kill the rates of everything else. So, pretty, uh, pretty job well done on this. So let's talk a little bit more about what exactly it means for a project to be done. In my opinion, when a project is completely finished, there is not a single block left to place. There's no more, there's nothing else to figure out. It's completely done, it's built, it's operational, and it's functional. Uh, I would not say that this system is done. Uh, you can see that it's built, it's definitely there, and it's f not fully functional, but I mean, we can sort every stackable item in the game. Uh, we have sorters in place for the ones that we haven't programmed yet, like wet sponges. I'm not going to let that happen. Honestly, if you're going to sort wet sponges, just go throw it in the furnace array. Lazy. <laughs> but uh, things like um, the, the stackable, non-stackable items, like lava buckets, uh, we're working on that. We're going to have a system in place for all of that stuff, and then music discs and stuff. I'm not entirely sure if all of that is really the most practical that we could do practical thing we could do, but as long as it doesn't increase the lag too much, it should be completely fine. And then there are of course little details, like uh, putting the beacons in place and getting that system worked out. Uh, making sure, because Rubik's doesn't want them to block the windows, which to me is just a little detail that I'm not entirely concerned about. If you can hear Allison in the background, I apologize. But uh, I do definitely want to move the beacon out of the middle of the sorting system, which it appears somebody already did. Uh, oh wait, no, I blocked one off on accident. A lot of people actually suggested... Uh, I don't know. That's another good point. Like the on-off system for the witch huts and the surrounding farms. I'm not entirely sure because as you can see, this whole perimeter is just one farm. It's the witch farm. So what we're going to do in the perimeter surrounding and why we haven't cleaned up these walls because they're all going to be blown out we're not entirely sure where everything is going to go yet. The slime farm's pretty much solid, but uh, there's still a lot of stuff to figure out. Like these beacon pyramids, they're all just one beacon, and that's definitely going to change. They're going to have all the effects on all the beacons covering the entire perimeter, which will be the giant octagon perimeter. So all of it will be completely covered by all the beacon effects. And uh, that's obviously not what we have right now. And that's kind of why we need the wither farm next, because these next perimeters are going to be the future projects. So, you know, you just got to do everything in order of priority. Uh, it was a little rough in the beginning, but we've kind of gotten on our feet now, so it should be pretty simple from here. Now, uh, what I've just done is removed all the torches I use for marking this place. Uh, that still happens as well. Not sure why items fly out to the side. Now, one thing a lot of people suggested, like I've just mentioned, was using a slime block. So, one flaw about our bulk storage is it doesn't actually fill in until you've filled in an entire uh, shulker box of those items, which usually shouldn't be a problem, but seeing as we're getting started here, I don't... Oh, I did... Okay, good. I, I don't have access to all the items I need. So, let's go under here, not intervene. That's blocking the... Wow, a lot is blocking the beacon here. <laughs> okay. So that should be able to read the items. Let's test that real quick with, say, oh, cool. Yeah, that does work. Nice. And then I realize that this circuit doesn't do a hell of a lot. And that should be fine. If I would have crafted more slime blocks, I would have. But this should be okay. Always got to carry a shulker box around full of redstone. And that should cover. Oh, there's slime blocks in here. Uh, yeah, I'll do it, you know, just because I, I can. 
Let's get rid of all that. It's just one less redstone dust. It's just a tiny thing. Also, it is five more slots more storage, because when that cuts it off, it backs up, and that could help us in the future. So, now that that's all squared away, we have our strength and regeneration back. That's pretty neat. The inside of this place looks like a freaking Christmas tree. I'm not gonna lie. Like, there's just so many torches everywhere. Wow, there was no creativity in the process of lighting this up. But one thing you might be noticing here is we actually have a lot of space to work with. Um, we do plan to put maybe, big maybe, but when I see it, I'll make a decision. But we're, we're considering putting a brewing system down here. And then bulk storage for the shulker boxes in the... Okay, a reservoir for the empty shulker boxes for the bulk storage is going to go down here as well. And that'll be that. I honestly don't really have a lot of time or effort to do a whole lot on the server, so I'm going to continue doing little projects, but uh, probably not going to be a whole lot of progress today. I found these two double chests full of sorter items and filters that went into the system. Um, probably just going to get rid of these. Oh, shit. <laughs> no! I don't think there was anything in those, but crap! Well, there goes basic bitch, white lives matter, and... Da -ba -dee -da -ba -die. I didn't really use those for anything, so it's not a big deal, but you got to be careful with your spam click macros, people. Now i got to make more. Alright, where do we have shulker boxes? Six shulker shells is all that I need, because I just need to make three ch... Okay, so that right there is called rubber banding, and that's where the server latency is so much so that you go back to a previous position because it can't keep up. And that is why I need to move this world to our other server. Uh, which would mean shutting down this entire server and <laughs> moving the world file. Now I'm using an Elytra. Moving the world file to the other server, which takes about an hour. So I'm probably going to do that right after I'm recording this. Um, really not a whole lot of time to do anything today. Um, more progress will be done in the in, in, on the weekends and when I have breaks, but... Really, I can't do as much as I want to do today, because this is one of those things where, it's one of those days where, to get into a project, I, I would need hours and hours and hours of focus, and like, you know, unbroken attention to that said project, and I, I just don't have that today. And I don't really like putting out shorter episodes, unless I really had something to do, but unfortunately this is all that I can do for today. Alright, my shulker box sanity is restored. Let's get rid of these sorter items. Actually, you know what, here, I'll leave the top chest, because if ever we put more items in the system, we're going to need those, but for now, I really don't want... The server just crashed. Okay, with that, I'm ending the episode. This was more of an update video. This series is over. Uh, I won't stop making videos, but whenever I have time, I'm going to go back to my regular style of hopping into whatever project going on that day, but I hope you enjoyed this little episode. I tried my best. Thanks for watching.